Right, the who, the what, the when, the where, the how, and the why. Who, my name is Frank. What, I'm an entrepreneur. I failed enough times to call myself an entrepreneur. When, now. The past, you learn from your mistakes. Future, nobody knows about. Now is where it's happening. Where is it happening? It's happening in Maastricht, obviously. Big up to the Center for Entrepreneurship. But some of the projects that I've worked on, Aldesco, it's a revolutionary concept, delivering sandwiches on a bicycle. Uh, a brewery, that's, you can buy, buy beer over the counter. Maastricht Business, we, we started crowdfunding startups, Secret Underground, an events portal. But the cool thing, now the presentation starts. Well, the mindset and attitude of an entrepreneur is one of passionate, opportunistic persistence. The most important aspect of being a good entrepreneur is playing to your strengths and recognizing the strengths in others. A one-man marching band will never make a million, but a team that will support the startup, maybe. You know, time is money and knowledge is power. You have to be the master of your time and not the other way around. One an anecdote to do with being productive is uh, if you have a choice between eating two frogs, which frog do you eat first? Now, the ugliest one. The point is that uh, you've got to do the task which you don't like, you've got to do that first. And the third thing, an entrepreneur needs, needs the charisma of a leader, the capacity of a thinker, and the confidence to do it. They need to be risk takers, but they have to be grounded enough in reality for, uh, for their ideas to be taken seriously. Now, when you, start, when, you start, when you start a business, you need an idea. And you need a successful, uh, to be successful, you need a vision. Now, one, one good example of a company philosophy, there was a painkiller called Tylenol. Now, they didn't have childproof caps. Something happened to the kid of a customer, and the CEO took everything off the shelf. You know, there are some things worth more than profit. Now, this one's about an idea. Once you have an idea, you have to research virtually every aspect of this idea thoroughly. You know, research saves money, it saves time, and it reduces the risk of failure. You know, you have to know your market, you have to know your customers, and you really have to know your product or service. You know, once, uh, once you do start re researching an idea, you've got to get feedback on it. You have, to, you have to ask people in the field, what does this mean to you? Will it solve a problem for you? And perhaps the next, the next important thing is planning. You know, planning is the most useful tool in business when you master it. You know, it can take a year to write a business plan or it can take a week. You know, I, th I think it should be taught in every university course. Business planning is crucial for organizations and for growth, especially long-term growth. Now, once you have a plan, you have to make the assumptions behind the calculation credible. Nobody expects a forecast to be bulletproof, but you do have to have a clear idea of where the money is going and when the money is coming in. You know, my first company failed because I didn't understand how capital, cash flow, and expenditure worked. So, it's a good idea to have a good accountant. <laughs> and with an idea, with an understanding of the finances, you should start testing and developing a product immediately. You know, it's during this phase that, mo that most entrepreneurs fail, but this is the time to fail. During the development time, you really you got to be okay with failure because if you make the mistakes uh, during the development process, you won't make them later on. When you come to the launch, the launch of a product, the first thing uh, the first thing comes to mind when you have a sample or a demo or a beta version, uh, you got to throw a party that mirrors your first press release. You know, remember what it's like to breathe after working so hard during the development phase to get this idea off the ground. Then you you got to tell yourself you're just getting started. You know. The launch of a company is just the start of a good thing. Now here, marketing. You know, marketing your product or your service requires strategy. You, know, you, have to, you have to know your customers and you have to know your market inside out. If, if you don't, you're gonna fail. The empathy of an expert is the best sales technique that you can possibly have. You know, your philosophy should send a clear message. Customers will only remember one slogan and a good salesman has always keeps one thing in mind, A, B, C, always be closing. You know, if you've got that cracked, then you're already ahead of the game. Keeping track of, keeping track of your, your operations, you know, keeping track of the goals and the tasks that you set, that's a very important way of benchmarking your progress. So you, you, you have to be very clear about what the practicalities are, the resources, the cost, and the time of your operation if, 
you want to grow. You know, quite simple. You've got to have a way of measuring, measuring uh, how, how quickly you're growing and if you're growing quickly enough. You know, growth can be measured in a couple of different ways. It can be measured in the financial statement or my personal definition, you've got to ask yourself how many, how many problems have you solved or how many customers, customer pains have you actually fixed with your product or service. And once you have that, you've got to come back and you've got to evaluate your own progress because there, there, there is only one way to know if you're growing, growing quickly enough. It's a checkbox. You've got to know, are your customers satisfied? Is your team motivated enough? And if they are, you stand out from the crowd. Now, this slide is about the feeling of success. Your product or service stands out, your business is making money, and your team is motivated. But what about you, the entrepreneur? Well, above it all, you are a success. You've built something from nothing. You've watched it grow, and you're on your way to achieving greatness. But you've got to start something. That's the only way. Thanks. Thank you.